In this video, we will show you how to get started with the PIC32 CMMC00 Curiosity Nano Evaluation Kit using MPLAB Harmony version 3. If you are new to Harmony version 3, be sure to watch our video, How to Set Up the Tools Required to Get Started with Harmony version 3. This project is based on the PIC32 CMMC00, our Cortex M0 Plus microcontroller. For this video, we will use the PIC32 CMMC00 Curiosity Nano Evaluation Kit that contains the PIC32 CM1216MC0032 microcontroller. Let us look at the resources available on the board before we get started. This board has a user LED, which will be useful to show the application status. There's also a user switch to read the user inputs a micro USB connector to connect with a PC, an onboard nano debugger for programming and debugging the PIC32CM MCU. The onboard debugger interface also acts as a virtual COM port. Users can extend this nano board using the Curiosity Nano Base for clickboards. This will help the hardware extension platform to ease the connection between Curiosity Nano kits and extension boards like the Microbus click modules and explained Pro extension boards. To get started developing applications on this board, open the PIC32 CMMC00 Nano Evaluation Kit webpage and download the Getting Started Demo Project. The PIC32CMMC Getting Started zip file has the demo firmware, and you can extract it from there. Open the project in MPLAB XIDE. Go to Tools, Embedded, and open the Harmony 3 configurator. The project graph is open and you can see the various peripherals configured for the PIC32MCU under this demo project. Clicking on a peripheral block shows you the configuration done for that peripheral. By clicking on CIRCOM1, you can see the CIRCOM1 configured as USART to print the LED toggling rate. By clicking on the Real-Time Clock or RTC peripheral library, you can see the RTC configuration to generate a 500 milliseconds timeout interrupt. By clicking on the External Interrupt Controller or EIC peripheral library, you can see the EIC configuration to read the switch SW0 status change. In the same way, you can see the configurations for other peripherals in the Configuration Options window. To configure other necessary system-specific configurations like a clock, DMA, or event systems, go to the Tools menu and choose the system module you would like to configure. For example, to configure the clock, Open the Clock Easy View window by clicking Tools, then Clock Configuration. Here you will see the main clock is set to its default clock frequency of 48 MHz. Using MPLAB Harmony Configurator, you can easily add another peripheral, reconfigure the project, and generate the code. You can go to the project configuration path anytime and check the various files to understand the implementation of the project. This code sends the strings using USART on a periodic basis, and the periodic timeout can be changed by the switch press. To run this demo project, connect a micro USB cable between the debug USB on the board and a PC. This enables the programming of the microcontroller and provides a serial connection with the console device. In MPLAB X, under Project Properties, select the PIC32CMMC Curiosity Nano as the target kit in the Connected Hardware Tool dropdown, and then click OK. Open a terminal application such as TerraTerm on the PC and perform the serial port setup as shown here. You can now build your project and program the PIC32CMMC Curiosity Nano Evaluation Kit by using MPLAB XIDE. Here, you can see the LED toggling rate text printed on the console in a periodic basis. The periodicity of the timeout will change from 500 milliseconds to 1 second to 2 seconds to 4 seconds and back to 500 milliseconds every time you press the switch SW0 on the PIC32CM MC Curiosity Nano Evaluation Kit. 
The demo project shown in this video is also available on GitHub. Go to the link shown here to open the MPLAB Harmony Reference Apps repository. The demo examples on the PIC32 CMMC00 Curiosity Nano Evaluation Kit are available under the path shown here. There are also some collaterals available in the web link shown here, which are related to the video content. And finally, this is our MPLAB Harmony landing page, where you can find all the information about Harmony version 3. Thanks for watching.